a stack of cash, so just walk on through security. Then come meet me when I fast travel down. Let's go pay him a visit. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. The Marif's elevator is sealed, remember? That's just great. I do have a recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Could we use that recording of the Marif talking to the Geisha bot? Maybe blackmail our way in? Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon-to-be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Nothing like throwing down a few cold ones after a hard day, Jacka. Doesn't make mistakes? Hey, Lawbots! You've just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty. Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome merit's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be logged. Long live the merit. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey, you really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh... Uh, physical services? I'm a alive. bloody stress volcano right now and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. Might make it worth your while. I'm legit. swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> The mayor's interfacing with my Serena. No! 
Oh, I feel so betrayed. And according to my records, the mayor doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable. Awesome. Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. Yeah. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy at this difficult time. Thank you, thank you. This man has no shred of honor. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm going to make his life a living hell. Come on, elevator, let's go. Serena, I'm coming, my love. This is more like it. And here we go. To the barrel. Seriously, you idiot machine. The offices are off. Right. I'm such a kidder. Up we go. said you're a dad. I didn't said so. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. I was gonna let you live, dumb bastard. What is wrong with you? Oh, that was. Okay, yeah. Where was I? 
All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through that mare of stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby, hell yeah. Shopping lists simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser's gonna kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Bill? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Brick. Booyah! That laser just keeps on coming. Why don't we just make Little Miss Moxie sits on her boxy, consuming her whiskey and cake. Along comes Ms. Springs. How are you going? Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big soz. But your best bet's a mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle, lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mine, but I can help with that. Take the scrambler. Now then, I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. beloved wife went for a drive hours ago but hasn't returned. She's still out there, lost in the darkness, perhaps worse. Find my Deirdre. Return her to my waiting arms. I'm sending her last known location to your echo device. To think of my delicate petal being roughly manhandled by a bunch of roving thugs or eaten by wild creatures. I beseech you, and I've never beseeched before. Find her. place on foot, but I can help you out with, ready for it? A stingray. It's old Dahl tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the design, so now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get. to meet hunts on. So happens that scrap uh, came my way. It's supposed to
just to unlock Digistructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a Stingray there, I'll fix it so all Moon Zoomies are Stingrayed up. still has power. Moxie's improvements into the production model. They deny it though. Plug in the scrambler to that Digistruct machine. Yeah, that's it. Now just order yourself up a Stingray. to copy a fresh plan over so you'll be able to digistruct these anywhere from now on. Now get your backside to see Pickle, though feel free to get a feel for her first, see what she can do. I'm icy. 
messing up here. Freezing.
Uh, yeah, uh, this is Tobias Teitelbaum from the design department. Uh, the printing came back for the OT kits. The colors really coming through well. I adore. Whoa, what's the big idea killing my name? And is that my echo message? Myron sent you, didn't he? He seems to be asleep, but the guy's scary. I'm gonna pickle you! Go! In the night in I go see friends and he follows me. When he wanted our anniversary to be a suicide pact, I knew I had to escape. So I cooked up my dramatic death. Killing Myron sounds like the most efficient course of action. Nah, Myron's got a huge family that come after me. I've got a plan, Volt Hunter. It's nutty, but should convince Myron I'm one totally dead wife. Will you help? Sure, sounds like a worthwhile mission. If Myron's going to leave me alone, he has to think I'm dead. So we're going to kill me. Well, my evil twin, Maureen. Myron doesn't know about her, and she's as loco as he is. Maureen's an escaped con hiding out nearby. Find her, kill her, then show her back to Myron. stage itself, you know. Off you, Pop.
for killing my psycho sister. I can sleep far easier knowing her and Myron aren't around anymore. Better than the loon stalker. Well, we'll see, won't we? Whatever. I'm the best. End of. Get yourself a moon buggy and prove me wrong. Warning, no atmosphere detected.
I have big problem. Medical refrigerator ship break. Organs, tissue samples, dinner, all get for them soon. I need special ice. It keeps things cool a long time. You fetch special ice from special place. I pay you. Yes? I'm turning into an icicle. Creatures. 
Stay cool, though, hey? <laughs> I need to make sure.
so you do well. Bring ice and drill to Nina. Quick! Something here smell bad. Don't forget about my drink! It's virtually a medical emergency! Machine won't work if not plugged into parts. <laughs> it's good job you do. You make Nina very hippie. Maybe you be nurse now. <laughs> Nina, joke at you. You squeeze Nina out. Nina, squeeze you. Cannot. you. 